Let me ask you. So, so what do you what do you do to 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 get people that I'm not just talking about members or any of that. I'm talking about how do you get people stirred up in reading the Word of God? What what is what some of the things you try to do well, with God? And you know, as the true power behind you, source. And again, you you can you can talk to people and try mm-hmm. to encourage them, but they have to come to the to their place in the story where they have to want God. And you can't really force people mm-hmm, into God. Mm-hmm. They have to want it. And he says, you know, he's an open door. He said, if you knock, I'll open. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, if you call, he'll answer. And some people, they just don't want it. They kind of want it, but they don't want it better than what they want to sacrifice. I didn't grow up in church. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. That's 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 definitely uh, the the way you have to look at it. When we're going through this wilderness, uh, you have to be able to, um, you know, still teach people about God that's in it. a way to where um, they can still be a, a, a you know the Holy Spirit is not bound. The Word that's of it. God is not bound, that's it. and we know that. You know, we know that we know that people you just spoke on in the wilderness or wherever they may be, right, even now. Right, you know, because. Right. You know me, you know, I'm one that you worship God where you stand. You know how I am right. about that. I basically know that, you know, you've been called out. Mm-hmm. That word church means ecclesia. It exactly. means to be called mm-hmm. out from among mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. That's what that word means every time we read it in the yes. Bible. And I think that we have to, you know, as far as the way the Holy Spirit moves. Um, sorry. The way the Holy Spirit moves, we have to, at, 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 at some point, uh, start helping our people to understand that they're not in a box. Right, right, right. See, right. that's the whole thing for me. Mm-hmm. They're not in a box. They're 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 basically you. The Holy Spirit dwells within you. Yes. Right. Leadership goes outside of the church walls. Oh, yes. And the thing we got to understand is people that been put in these homes and 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 been forced a lot of them fit, fear has struck yes. in instead of faith. Yes. And and so as leaders, yes. I don't look I don't put no boundaries but because you're a leader. Mm-hmm. It, it it needs to be a word sent out to the people at all times that God is still real in the midst of their homes. Right. Because right, a right. lot of families are hurting right now mm-hmm. because there's nobody talking to them. Mm-hmm. They didn't even, it, the, the kids was going a little bit more. Some when I was little, you know, you, the kids may go and the parents may not go because right. the parents is causing all kind of hell at home. Right. That's the only out the kids got is school and the church. church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or Or now they can't go. And right. so they stuck in the house with, with parents who don't even understand them. Mm-hmm. So how do we get through those doors? All the message, the message, how do we so get forth. that message to permeate those, those, those doors of these places where people are locked in those caves? Mm-hmm. Do you understand where I'm coming right, from? Right, because right, right. this is happening. Right. And that's, t- that's something that God always had me looking at anyway. Right. As far as a way to get to people who, don't have nothing. Don't have no way. That's that's what I think Jesus meant when he said the harvest is truly plentiful and the labels are few when he was talking about going to Samaria and yeah. hanging out that weekend. Yes. You're, you know, yes, over there yes. in, in, in John. Yeah. So that's the part where we have to be creative yes. enough yes. to get to, those, this is a to great, those people. This is a great test that everyone, not just us, but everyone is going through yes. because a lot of people are losing loved ones. Yes. A lot of people have lost their jobs. People who have faith or Mm -hmm. had faith. A lot of people had faith and has lost it during this pandemic or is struggling Mm -hmm. tremendously because whether they're so used to going to this church home over here and they're Mm -hmm. not able uh, at a fair or whatever to go over there, they're not realizing that I can find God even in the midst of where I am right now. I need to really sit down and study this word and and Mm -hmm. have a revelation with him right here, right now, and not, because there's a lot of people who do depend on a preacher, a right, reverend, right, right. and not realize that, and that's the thing that I've always felt sad about. You know, I was raised in church back home and so forth, so I was, I've seen people always, my pastor this or my preacher this and my so forth, and not make you feel like, I can get this on my own. They don't read Christ. the word is what she trying to say. You understand what I mean? They don't study, they go and they listen to whatever he tells them, and then that's it. They'll take it and run with it, but not study it for themselves and get that revelation. But I can understand why in some form, because as a child, if you don't study, 
and read, or even as an adult, if you don't study and read for yourself, you're not going to gain understanding. You're just right. going to look for what somebody tells you. Right. And that's it. So whenever you pick it up to try to understand it yourself, a lot of times it feels like gibberish because right. you don't understand it. So you tend to look for somebody to tell you mm -hmm. what it is instead of trying to get it yourself or learn how to understand it yourself. I don't, I, I think, I think it takes spending time with God. It does. I don't, it does. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I, I think the gibberish part come because you're not letting go of things that's pretty much holding you back in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And we read about that the yeah, other day yeah, yeah. you have I, to really you know i empty really don't your, think your yeah i don't think i think that I, that gibberish thing is an excuse i'm i'm being real with mm -hmm. you if you can read every other book you can mm -hmm. read the word of god mm -hmm. but you choose to to take interest in what you want to take interest mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. that's what i feel because you have to let things go in that order goes to grow back to that why i was saying earlier yeah, you, yeah they you, don't have a strong enough why yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. what, what mm -hmm. let me ask you so so what do you what do you do to, to, to get people that I'm not just talking about members or any of that. I'm talking about how do you get people stirred up in reading the word of God? What what is what some of the things you try to do well, with God and you know, as the true power behind these source? And again, you, you can you can talk to people and try mm -hmm. and encourage them, but they have to come to the to their place in the story where they have to want God. And you can't really force people mm -hmm. into God. Mm -hmm. They have to want it. And he says, you know, he's an open door. He said, if you knock, I'll open. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you call, he'll answer. And some people, they just don't want it. They kind of want it, but they don't want it better than what they want to sacrifice. I didn't grow up in church. You're right. I'm going to flip this a little bit. So what about unjust leadership that, because they make the ones who are trying to do right look bad. Yep. And the Bible yep. talks yep. about false prophecies. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yep. we can't just talk about this side here and not oh, leave yeah. that side open. Right, right, right. You know, right. or talk about that. The Bible says, woe going to the man to go say God said, and he ain't said nothing Yeah, in the book yep. of Ezekiel. Right. And right. it also right. talks about it in a way to where it talks about that in the, in the last days, there's going to be false prophets to step up. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we're in those times. Yes. A lot of times in the way that I see the activity today. Yes. So... In in in, retro, in in hindsight, looking back in your your uh, in your career and and you being in this thing, have you um, ever ran across a place where you had to educate one on what was really real with God? Yeah. Versus yes. what what somebody had portrayed God to be when it was falsism. <laughs> daily basis. Yeah, when it was falsism, because you don't hear talk about <laughs> right, that. Right, right. Everybody want to talk about the good parts, but they right, don't want to talk right. about the the part where. Where it, issues come up, whether it be yeah. Paul and Barnabas decide right. they're gonna part ways, right, they, right, these right. things happen, yes. or, or whether it be uh, human heirs or whoever Paul talking about, because he throws names out there. He had issues with heresies and all this mm -hmm. stuff. So we know that they had issues, but for some reason in today's society, we try to cover ours up in a way mm -hmm. to where it's not talked about, right. and everybody that's going and everybody that's doing and saying that Jesus is Lord is is really following Christ, but we know the word says, uh, it said for some of false apostles transforming mm -hmm. themselves into the apostles mm -hmm. of Christ mm -hmm. and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Mm -hmm. Therefore is no great thing. If his ministers be transformed also. Mm -hmm. So we know this is happening. Mm -hmm. Are we addressing it? Are we, if we see it, do we, you know, do we react and do the things that it take to, to, to help the people? I'm not talking about them. And uh, again, it's hard to address uh, all issues with all ministers. The, it, this pandemic itself is addressing some of it. Is addressing. It. <laughs> and, and listen, even when we talk about uh, God and and in 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 the in the Old Testament, the the priest had to wear a robe. Ephod. Ephod. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and, and they stones. had yes, but they had bells. Mm -hmm. They had yeah. bells. That's right. On the bottom of them. Mm -hmm. That's right. And plum grain. That's right. They tied a rope around, around the priest's right. waist right. when he, he went to hold the hold. And he would say, "I'm good." I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we found out if he was good. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So you, okay, now I see where you're going with that. Because judgment becomes a thing that yes. they will have to answer to right. what, yes. they, what they do. Because I get it. each individual have to answer to God and yes. themselves. A lot of times people always say, well, this person, this person, we blame everybody else but ourselves. Yes. But at the end of the day, when judgment comes, we have to stand up in front of him ourselves and mm -hmm. account for everything that we've done. Mm -hmm. yes. And at that point you can't say, well, God, well, I had a good heart. I had a this, this, that we know what we're, sh we're supposed to do from what we shouldn't be doing. Right. right. Cause he left the Holy ghost to help lead us. Yes. But Jesus said many going to come in that day. Yes. See, 
See, it's going to be a many coming right, in days. Right. Didn't we cast out demons in yes. your name? Yes. Didn't we heal the sick in your yes. name? We did some things that looked like we was doing yes. the things that people that was kicking it with you was doing. Listen, even in the, he said, in the end times, there'll be a great a falling, falling away. away. Right. Correct. Right. That's right. So That's right. what we're going through. is a great falling away. If you don't have a strong enough why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's easy when hard times, difficult times, times we don't understand. Mm-hmm. Times that cause maybe some conflict or yeah. Yeah. uneasiness mm-hmm. to just throw yeah. in the towel. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.